A man named Max is looking for an engagement ring for his fiancée. Struggling to choose one, he tells the jeweler that he will return. In the office, his secretary reminds him of his meeting with a Japanese client and his later flight to Japan. On his way to the meeting, he meets his old friend named Lucien. Max, who left France two years ago, shares with Lucien that he is soon to be married to someone he met in New York. Max is on the meeting with the Japanese client when his fiancée, Muriel, who also happens to be sister of his boss, joins in, and they share a toast for the success of their upcoming project. While in the bathroom, Max hears a woman talking on the payphone, and he recognizes it as his ex-girlfriend. He tries to confirm it, but the woman left in a hurry. He goes to the payphone and finds a key that Lisa left. Two years ago, when Max was still working as a repair technician, he sees a video of a beautiful brunette named Lisa. Seeing her pass by, Max immediately falls in love. He started stalking her, from her theater rehearsal, and even up until she reaches her apartment. Back to the present, Max gets called by his fiancée because he is almost late for his flight. They bid each other goodbye, but a while later, it is revealed that Max didn't actually board the flight for his important business trip to Japan. Max calls his client to say that his trip will be delayed because he is not feeling well. He then proceeds to the hotel room corresponding to the key he found earlier. With no one answering his knock, Max lets himself in, and there he finds Lisa's compact. It reminds him of the first time he talked with her. He was at Lucien's shoe store, and he tells him about the woman whom he is madly in love with. Coincidentally, Lisa comes over to buy a shoe, and knowing that it is his best friend's crush, Lucien tells Max to take care of the customer. She is looking for a red shoe at size 37, and while Max is nervously attending to his crush, Lisa confronts him about stalking her. He tries to explain himself, but Lisa says she does not want to listen and leaves. Max feels dejected, but then he notices a note from Lisa, inviting him to dinner tomorrow. From then on, the two started going out, and one night, they make it official as they become steamy in Lisa's apartment. Max wakes up in the hotel room of Lisa. He notices a cigarette butt that has lipstick, and beside it is a torn-up newspaper about an art dealer named Daniel who recently lost his wife in a car crash. He suspects that Lisa might be the art dealer's mistress. He later returns the hotel key and asks the front desk to hand a note with Lucien's telephone number to the lady who booked the room. Later that day, Max confides in Lucien, explaining that he canceled his business trip because he saw Lisa. Lucien finds it absurd, reminding Max of his upcoming marriage, but Max says he only wants to know why she disappeared without a word. Lucien accidentally breaks Lisa's compact, so Max takes it from him. Believing that the art dealer is Lisa's lover, he wanted to go to the funeral, so Lucien loans him his car and reminds him to return it tonight because he has a date. Max goes to the funeral, and after the ceremony, he follows Daniel as he goes into an apartment while carrying a flower. The art dealer knocks and calls Lisa's name, but no one answered, so he just left his rose and letter on the door. Max takes his letter, and he finds out that Lisa also goes to Daniel, same as what she did to him. He then writes Lisa a letter asking her to meet him tomorrow at the park. Max returns the car late, making Lucien upset because he missed his date with Alice. Luckily, Alice calls back and asks Lucien to pick her up. Max thinks that Lucien is madly in love with this girl, to which his friend confirms. Lucien then goes to the theater and waits for Alice to finish her rehearsal. The next day, Max goes to the park and waits for Lisa. While waiting, he reminisces the day he told her about the job offer in New York. He asks his girlfriend if she will come and live with him there. Instead of answering, Lisa hurries to leave, saying that she would be late for the rehearsal. Max asks again if she wants to live with him, and Lisa just says to meet her again tomorrow at the park. Max waited the next day, but Lisa never came. He rushes to her apartment, only to find out that she has already left yesterday. Brokenhearted, Max takes out Lisa's clothes she left in his room and burns them. Back to the present, Lisa did not show up at the park, so Max goes to her apartment and breaks in using the key he stole from the front desk. He sees that the letter has been opened, but Lisa is nowhere to be found. He also finds a broken, size 37 red shoes, same size as the shoes she bought two years ago. Upon hearing someone arrive, Max quickly hides in the closet. She started crying, so Max goes out to comfort her. Seeing her about to jump out of the window, Max quickly rescues her, only to find out that she is not his ex-girlfriend. Max explains that he is waiting for his friend Lisa, but the girl says that her name is Lisa, and she lives there. He finds out that the woman he has been chasing from the payphone and up to the hotel is the Lisa in front of him, and not his ex-girlfriend. Max shows her the compact and Lisa takes it, saying that it is hers. He asks her about the art dealer, and Lisa suspects that Daniel killed his wife for her. 
Max says he has to leave now for Tokyo, but Lisa, who is grateful for his rescue, begs him to stay a bit, especially since it is raining. She invites him to sleep beside her, but Max insists on sleeping on the chair instead. He goes out to get some fresh air, and it appears that the obsessed Daniel is just secretly watching over his mistress' apartment. Lisa wakes up in the middle of the night and kisses the sleeping Max. The lonely lover boy kisses back until they eventually did it. The next morning, Lisa prepares coffee for her guest, and before leaving for work, she tells Max that he is free to stay in her apartment. By then, it is revealed that the woman on the payphone is actually Max's ex-girlfriend Lisa, and the one whom Max slept with last night is an imposter. Two years ago, she used to secretly observe Lisa, jealous of her colorful life. Until one night, Lisa catches her, but instead of getting mad, she goes to meet and befriends her. One day, the imposter sees the handsome Max, and she immediately falls in love with him. It is then revealed that the imposter is actually Alice, whom Lucian is madly in love with. Lisa starts to see Alice more often, and one day while practicing her theater acting, Alice starts filming her. They tried to play the video, but the sound is broken. This presents an opportunity for Alice to get closer to the repair guy Max. She tells Lisa about him, and her friend teases her, but Alice says that it is only a crush. As Alice goes to retrieve the camera, Max rushes out and accidentally hits her with the door. That was the first day that Max saw the love of his life, and since then, Alice just watches from afar, crying because her crush was stolen from her by her best friend. One day, Lisa asks Alice to hand a letter for Max. This was the day that she suddenly left him. The letter would have explained to Max that she has decided to live with him in New York after her two-month tour, but Alice never gave it to the heartbroken lover boy. Max confides to Lucian about the girl who has the same name and shoe size as his ex. His friend asks if something happened between them, and he explains that it was the girl who initiated it. Max then asks him how his date with Alice went, and Lucian says that on their way to dinner, he told his girlfriend about Max's weird story. He tells her that Max found the apartment where Lisa lives, and he left a note there. Afraid that her crush might reunite with Lisa, Alice tells Lucian to take her home as she is not feeling well. She then rushes to Lisa's apartment, and that's how Max gets to meet and spend the night with her. Flashback to two years ago. When Lisa came back from the tour, she was heartbroken because her beloved Max left without saying goodbye. To comfort her, Alice hands her the cruise ticket she won, and advises her to travel so she can forget him. Days later, Alice receives a letter from Lisa, saying that she has met the man for her, and that is Daniel, the art dealer who recently lost his wife. In the present, we learn that Lisa is hiding from Daniel and is planning to fly to Rome. She is scared because she believes that the art dealer killed his own wife, but Alice tells her to give Daniel a chance to explain. Lisa later calls her lover, and the mad art dealer confronts her about having a man in her apartment. Despite Lisa insisting that she does not know about it, Daniel does not believe her. She runs away crying, and the concierge runs after her, to give her the letter that Max left. Reading it brings a smile to the distressed mistress. She calls the airline to cancel her flight, but the airline says she needs to personally get there. Having lost the hope to see Lisa again, Max buys a ticket for Tokyo, and as he leaves, he narrowly misses the chance to see his ex-lover. Lisa asks for her flight to be cancelled, but the agent says it is no longer possible. Before his flight, Max goes to the theater because Lucian wants him to meet his girlfriend. Upon seeing him, Alice turns her back while continuing to act. The play becomes a mess, so the director orders to close the curtain. Max bids farewell as he needs to catch his flight, and Lucian proceeds to his girlfriend Alice. He hears the director scolding his girlfriend and will replace her with someone else. Lucian comforts her, and as they later get intimate in her apartment, Lucian confesses that he never felt this madly in love before. The next morning, Max calls Lucian to tell him that he didn't go to Tokyo. He slept in the apartment of the other Lisa, but she didn't come home. Upon hearing this, Alice immediately leaves and calls Max. She tells him that she was not able to come home because of work, and he asks Max to wait there. Meanwhile, the real Lisa calls Lucian, asking him to tell Max that she will be waiting at the park where they used to meet. When Alice returns, Lucian tells her about the call from Lisa, saying that Max will finally reunite with the love of his life. Because of this, Alice kisses her boyfriend and immediately leaves. She then goes to the apartment and makes love with Max, and the heartbroken lad seems to start liking her. He later surprises her with a new pair of red shoes. However, it does not fit Alice, and she says that she is size 39. This confuses Max because the broken shoe he found in her closet is 37. Alice calls Lisa, confiding in her that she is in great despair because of lying. To comfort her, Lisa says she will give the plane tickets to her. 
Meanwhile, the suspicious Max follows Alice as she enters the cafe. Lucien sees him and says that he will introduce him to her. Max is aghast after knowing that the girl he just slept with a while ago is his best friend's girlfriend. They pretended not to know each other, but it is clear that Max is furious at her. Lucien says the real Lisa just called, asking Max to meet her at the park. She also confirmed that the compact belonged to her, and it becomes clear to Max that Alice tricked him. When Lucien left to light a cigarette, Alice tells Max that she did not regret everything because she loved him. She says that she will fly to Rome in a few hours, and she secretly hands him her diary. When Max leaves to meet Lisa, Alice breaks up with her boyfriend, saying that she only used him, and she does not really love him. Alice leaves, but she accidentally left her back. Upon checking it, Lucien sees the broken compact, and realizes that Alice is the girl who pretended to be Lisa and slept with his best friend. Instead of meeting Lisa, Max reads Alice's diary, and he has come to a realization. He goes to look for her at the airport, and upon seeing Alice, he runs to share a passionate kiss with her. Lisa, on the other hand, has waited for hours in the park, but the love of her life never came. She goes to her apartment, and moments later, Daniel appears. Lisa smiles, but then the obsessed lover takes out a lighter and drops it on the floor that has been spilled with gasoline. Back at the airport, Alice says she will just get her luggage and be right back. However, she did not return, as she is heading to the boarding gate. Coincidentally, it is the day that Max is supposed to return from Tokyo, that's why his fiancée Muriel has been eagerly waiting for him. Max is about to look for Alice, but then Muriel sees him. While being hugged by his longing fiancée, Max sees Alice. And so, he finally accepts his fate with Muriel, and lets go of the imposter whom he has fallen in love with. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.